First, though, all oh, the bonuses for the water company bosses. Should they be banned? We'd love your calls on this. 020-7862-2222. Three water firms have been blocked from using customer money to pay bonuses, adding up to £1.6 million. The regulator Offwat said the bonuses were undeserved, so they've gone in with a baseball bat, old Offwat. And they said firms involved needed to improve their cultures of performance and accountability. This follows a tumultuous few years for water companies, which have seen scandals, including illegal sewage spills or dry spills and even contaminated drinking water. So should the regulator or maybe even the government go further now and just say we're not having bonuses at water companies? That's it for the time being. Let's just talk a bit more about this and have a look. I thought we could um, let's draw a TV here, draw a little TV, because I thought Last night I was thinking about this. If you were advertising for someone to be the executive of a water company, you do a TV advert. How, how would you do? What sort of slogan would you? Use? So I ran a little TV experiment to see why not work for a water company. There's the question, and then you've got there we are a slogan. You can live somewhere beautiful and get paid by results. And then we need something at the end to sort of tie it all together. So you have a big pipe, and then it says, "The muckier the sea, the richer you'll be." Isn't that brilliant? That's, that's basically the system, as far as we can tell. So today in the papers, Tim's Water, the issue is the guy, Chris Weston, who's in charge. This is Kevin's paper, The Mirror. And the issue with this is, is that, that he's keeping his bonus of a 195000 even though Tim's Water itself has been in a horrible state, really, really bad, They're almost going under, literally. The Mirror says... Uh, Tim's chief, Chris Weston, has already had his bonus, so they can't take it back. However, Offwater have blocked other bonuses at Tim's Water. Why were they even being paid in the first place? They blocked Yorkshire Water for 660000 and one at a Welsh water company as well. So we should have a look at the actual league table of the biggest bonuses in the water companies. They don't seem to actually relate to, to the amount of spills or anything. You know. So this first one, Southwest Water, Susan Davey, was was paid 298%. I can't accept it. So some honour there. Nicholas Shaw had no such problems at Yorkshire Water, 371,000. The guy before Chris Weston took 446,000 and then United Utilities, Louise Beardmore, 420. But the big one is here. There she is, Liv Garfield. Her total salary was 3.18 million and her bonus was 584,000. That's for the year 2023-24. So that's already paid. She's already got it. And what's so infuriating here is that when you actually count up the amount of spills, it's something like three million. And somehow they're turning it into cash. And this is what I, I don't mean to sound cross. I'm completely impartial on everything. But clean up the seas and the rivers, Esther, and then we'll talk. How about that? I mean, isn't it incredible that off what can ban bonuses, but they can't ban dumping waste in our, in our water bodies? I think that's the bigger um, well, they do ban issue. it, don't they? But they, but well, no, they, they do, find, they find, they find. This they, they don't have the exactly. teeth to ban it. There's no. Uh, well, so here's, here's just to put it into context. In 2020, Southern Water paid 90 million pounds in fines for dumping um, sewage into our water bodies. They would rather pay 90 million pounds in fines and invest in the infrastructure to, to to not dump waste in our in our in our water bodies or to fix the leaks that Thames Water <laughs> particularly has become famous for. Arguing over one point something million pounds in total between them is is loose change. And I would argue that these people, like why go after the employees? They don't work for us. Their, their duty is to the shareholders and keeping them happy. And they've kept them so happy. The employees, you well, mean the bosses, right? Well, That's, the bosses, yeah. but they're all employees of the shareholders. Yeah, but hang on, if, if you look behind right? here, we've got this graphic, right? These are the spills. And uh, these are the hours of spills. And United Utilities has got, I um, picked these out because the second highest bonus was to Louise Beardmore mm. at UU. And they've got 656,000 hours of spills. And I can't find a higher one. So, so actually, I don't think now. This was which which one was the um, Garfield working for? Was she Wessex Water? God. Somebody tell me. We can find out. Oh, she's Seven Trent. So let's just have a look. They're not on there. Oh, seven, in the middle. Okay. Yeah. So Seven Trent, four hundred and forty thousand yeah. hours. She gets the biggest bonus. It just doesn't. There's no relationship, Kevin. No, these are eye watering amounts and the water industry, and it's a scandal. Well, yeah, like we, bo we, we never should have sold off our water no, company. But, and it's across England. Wales and Scotland are publicly owned, community owned, however they describe it. But, it, but in England, in 1989, we sold off a 
very good water industry with no debt. What these companies have done is they've ratcheted up the debt. They haven't invested. They've paid out a fortune in dividends to the shareholders, you're quite right. A billion pounds. And this criticism isn't of the people, most of you know, the tens of thousands working, keeping the reservoirs and pipes and, you know, the servers running. It's the people at the top. And you're right, the whole, where the system's gone wrong, they're local monopolies. There's no competition. Yeah. You can't yeah. choose who exactly. you get your water from. Exactly. And the bosses are getting their bonuses, not because they've improved performance to us, the customers and the public. It's the financial performance for the speculators who buy the shares and want as big as profits they get. And that's, that's the biggest yep. issue, because the people who own these water companies don't care that Doris in Richmond has sewage floating in her nearest water. No. They're not invested in the UK. They're only so invested in what they can... You don't, you no, don't absolutely. Think the I think, I think the it's The market criminal. should sort this out. I thought you guys well, but, thought but, the market... Well, well, on the you right, do? you like the market water. does everything, right? Are we, are we just not going to use water? We have, this is the, 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 the jarring bit. The, the consumer has no path for recourse, because we cannot just well, stop using Well, we have a democracy here, so we can vote in a government that says... But we can't buy back the water companies, because they're too expensive. Well, yeah. But you, what you do is you say, uh, you get a minister who says, we are going to have water jails now. We're going to have special buildings. Water jails, what, drown them? <laughs> no, but we, we have, it'll be a small building and you will go there. If you have a certain number of spills, you're going to spend a year yeah. there or two years until they learn. And, and Steve Reid, the new UK Environment Secretary in the Labour government, has said he's going to take powers to block bonuses and increase fines. I'll believe it. When it happens, I don't think it'll help. That's the only thing. The fines the, are not the model working. For, the model of these companies is the way you get money is you make your shareholders happy and they buy yeah. more shares, right? And you make your shareholders happy by paying them money. Yeah. So you've got this circular thing and that's why they've yeah. not got any money. Jerry, and you're right. It's, it's bonuses and profits first and customer care. So I don't, maybe we're all Third. agreeing. Billy and Devon, what do you think? Is there any defence here? There is no defence at all whatsoever. Jeremy, is this a real Jeremy or is it Agony Uncle Jeremy? <laughs> it's a real one. It's honestly me. me. You can before. see you me. me out twice before. Oh, OK, right. What do you think then, Billy? I think, well, I've got my safety in confined spaces. I live on a floodplain and I've been down in Roman sewers and 2,000 year old sewers, they're still good. And I had to, I had to redo all the bloody... The Victorian, the Edwardian, all the pipes they put in, they more rotted. Why can't we build it like? No, it am I be? right in saying that that? that no, put Virgil Shark in charge. Am I right in thinking that? De Hang on, Billy. Am I right in thinking that Devon was the one with the parasite? Yeah, exactly. It had a parasite outbreak. Do you remember this? Yeah, down in Brixham. They I all think got it was. ill. Yeah. They all got ill. It's and, criminal. It's cr It's actually. And criminal. they had to then shut the water off for like two weeks or more. To click, and then the, 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 the bonus for Billy, your, your local water company boss, was offered, although turned down, 298000 And I think she turned it down because Jeremy, she was the one with the parasite. Yes, realize, Billy. Is, what you don't realise is the water bosses have never been down in a, in a sewer before. They don't know it from, from the word go. Oh, yeah, they're just looking at dollar, 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 money, money, money. I don't know and, whether and, they've not and, been in a and sewer. It's, just, it's coming out my... In, in the river right here where I'm living. And oh, they're still Billy. building houses on floodplains. Billy, I'm so and sorry. why don't they get the infrastructure to yeah. sort it out first? Okay, Ke let Kevin say. Yeah, Billy, can I That's watch everybody and put Hang on, Billy. Kevin in. speaking. Sorry. Billy, can I just ask what, what is your what is your answer? Is it tougher regulation or is it public ownership? No, it's kick the bosses out and put someone who's actually done the job before in charge. OK, Billy, well, thank you. Someone... Thank you, thank you. After the break, we are taking more of your calls on this. Show. But, yeah, lots coming in on the old water companies and the bosses, and this just system isn't working. I always wonder if Mrs T was alive, whether she, what she would, she'd see and she'd realise it was a big mistake. There's no question. But you, do, you can't work out what the alternative is. William in Renfrewshire, hi. Good morning, Jeremy. Hi. Uh, well, listen, what, what do you do? Sorry. Uh, well... The crux of the matter seems to be that nobody seems to say what's obvious. These bosses, if they know they're breaking the law, should go to court and hopefully go to jail. Yep. Unless you jail these people, it will continue. And you've had things like Grenfell, you've had blood contamination, you've had the Church of England, Catholic Church, Post Office scandal. When are these things ever going to stop unless you jail these people? Is it? Who, just let me ask, no. William, you're in, in Renfrewshire. So the Scottish water is publicly owned, I understand. So, That's correct. is it better? It's better, but we still have certain issues. 
OK, but you uh, do have discharges. But, but the people prefer that uh, it's in our rates. Yeah. O I, well, overall. I and think that's, that's right. another story. Oh, so basically, if wanted... people don't want to face the truth, then these people will get away with it forever. Whoever's pulling strings for them, uh, even a case of Al Fayed, if the police knew about him all these times, these people should be in court themselves. Well, yeah, that's a whole other thing, yeah. Thanks, William, really, very much. I wonder whether what you do is you do a test prosecution and you say, OK, there was a spill on the south coast, Dorset, we've got pictures of it, we know five people were ill, and we're now going to do a prosecution you know on that one. And you're going to go to, and you're going to arrest the water company boss, and you're going to say, did you know? That's it. But what's going to happen is... All of these shareholders are going to say we're leaving the UK yep. water market, yep. and the government will have a responsibility to buy it up, shooting our national debt through the roof, and the government will be panicking because whichever government of the day has to absorb that will be as unpopular as anything. But Meanwhile, have... the blame really lies in the, in the major government that actually sold off our water companies, which was a disastrous decision. Was it major? That's was a, it, it was Thatcher. Yeah, it, was major. Major. Um, uh, it was Thatcher in '89. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, Trains was, was major. Trains was major, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, that, but that's, that's the point. Major was looking for one more thing to do. And so it's, yeah. it's, they're kind and of just trying to kick well. the can down yeah. the road to see which unfortunate future government will have to deal with that responsibility. Yeah. It, is of course, in, yeah. it, it is interesting, though, Jamie, because you mentioned the parasite in, in the water which made people ill in South Devon. If somebody with a takeaway or a big food manufacturer mm. had done that, they could well have ended up yeah. in court. Yes. And the takeaway could have been... Exactly. Closed. And, yeah. But that was to do with a it, actually, weirdly, I think it came from possibly runoff from farms and mm -hmm. it, it got caught in a particular filter and stayed there and grew and everything. Pretty disgusting. I, yeah, I mean, this is why solution? we just don't bury your pets in your back garden because of the risk of water. Oh, uh, uh. hard eat in the West Midlands. What, what do we do about this situation? Do you stop the bonuses? Yes, absolutely. Um, it's appalling. And I've been watching all this with great aplomb because um, in my area we've had loads of water problems, brown water coming through and everything, and they even said they'd put us in hotels, and I got the text after they cleared it up. Uh, well, listen, I also, you're a very interesting caller, Harjeet, because you will know your, I th well, I think you're Seven Trent. So, yeah, Seven Trent. Okay, so, so the person who runs Seven Trent, who's in charge of all that, was paid in one year 3.18 million, including a yes. bonus of 584,000. Right, now, this is what I said to your researcher. What they're going to do is circumvent all this. If they don't get the bonus, do this increase what their they salaries? decide, no, no, please, what they're going to do is they can just increase salary. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll get the bonus well, anyway. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, this, this is getting no, it, nuts. No, if you listen to the Fergus Sharkey um, interview, they are going to circumvent it and just put their... Of course, I guess um, they will. But, you know, in the up. end, the, I, don't know whether, I don't know whether the bosses are to blame. Well, you get someone and you pay them 40 grand a year, I don't know, it makes the rivers cleaner. I don't know, something, something bigger is wrong here. Uh, maybe it was we're just a very I mean, small island with a lot of toilets. When they, when they decided to get rid of bankers' bonuses, the bankers' base salary just went up. Yeah, yeah. RG, thank you so much. I'm sorry you're in a, you're in a bad zone there for water. Ray, of course, the, the best paid boss has some of the worst water. That doesn't, doesn't add up, does it? Raymond is in North Yorkshire. What's your water company, Raymond? Yorkshire. All right. Like I should have guessed that, yeah. <laughs> I think we should have a round of applause for them and very caring Tories who forced privatisation onto the such caring people that were. Mm. It took it took so a while for it to work through. I think your your boss got a bonus of something like three hundred and seventy thousand. So yes, well, I mean, they are helping to keep the population down, aren't they? <laughs> oh, I'm glad you can see it with a sense of humour, Raymond. <laughs> well, you have to. You can only laugh. Why does anybody vote Tory? It's like voting Trump, for God's sake. Well, I think they had... Well, OK, now I have to defend, defend the Thatcher government. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going back, stop laughing, 35 years. They thought the market sorted everything out and that what they weren't ready for was for people to take over these companies who have, frankly, have bad intentions and who gouged the value out of them. I mean, transferred big, it into cash thing, and paid it to the shareholders. They thought they put too much faith into Offwatch, which was supposed to be the backstop of any of these sort of well, nefarious these things. Never things. But that's the thing. They, when they launched Offwatch, they didn't really give any Offwatch any actual teeth. 
any regulatory powers. So you had this situation where they were, yeah, gouging these companies and the, the real, the only people that they were responsible to were the shareholders and making them happy, they, which they've done successfully. Well, can't but like, what was the last time we built, that, we built a reservoir? They're, in the all, 1990s? they're all local monopolies. You can't decide That's whether true. you have water company A, yeah. water company, company B. B. Yeah. So, so markets don't work. So they have you. And the only, yeah. the only way you can control it is you either regulate it or you own it and then run it. And if you uh, own yeah. it, then at least like Thames, a billion in a year going to shareholders. That, that money won't go out of the system. You will keep it in the system and you can invest it yeah. rather than allowing it all just to leak out. OK, Raymond, thank you very, very. I think that was very amusing, actually. You're, you're, you're brilliant. You're going you're gonna to live long into old age with that sense of yeah. humour. Alex in Sutherland. Now, Hi, again, everybody. public water you've got there, Alex. That's right. How's it going? It, it's good. OK, there are some problems, but basically the problem down in, in England is that all the way through the election, the actual civil engineering aspects of the problem are never discussed. If you went, had gone back to Victorian times, you would have designed two systems. You would have de designed a system to take stormwater off roofs, roads, mm -hmm. uh, car parks, etc., and another system to take the sewage. But what we have is a dual system. Yeah. And so undoubtedly, as the weather gets uh, wetter and we have an increased population, you undoubtedly are going to end up having spills of sewage. Yeah, if you well... Don't, if if you don't build more capacity, it's got very, very smart yeah. to say. Well, and this yeah. is uh, this is down. This is the tiny island theory that yeah. if you've got sixty-eight million people on this tiny patch of land, it's we, we, it's going to be pretty filthy. Yeah, you know, and, that's... and clever engineering and investment goes a long way. But well, the investment is and, and climate change getting wetter and rainier backs up what Alex says, which is the explanation or the excuse from the water companies. Mm. But if you know that's coming, you've got to act early and invest to be able to deal with it, and they haven't. But, but some weird facts in this. I mean, one is that if you have, let's say, uh, organic farming, very, very good conditions, you have the chickens all clucking in a field, mm. you actually get worse runoff yeah. because all the, the, the poo comes off the field into the nearest river. Oh, yeah. And it's much less able, easy to control. All right, listen, thank you, Alex. Thanks to all our callers. There's not this, we know there's a problem here. We just can't work out the solution.